StyleGAN. Um, so this is a video. Um, StyleGAN, we'll talk a lot more about next week. Um, it has a ton of different features. Um, but essentially, what StyleGAN does is it generalizes the features of training data produce, to produce new, similar images. Um, so the repo we're going to use is V2. Um, in this case, I actually think it's worth reading both the first paper and the second paper. Um, the first paper is really about what they're trying to accomplish. And the second paper is about how they've optimized the first version to make it better. Um, so this one, for the training data, you need a lot of images, a lot. Um, I think that sometimes you can go as low as 750, but in general, I try to keep it up around 1,000. Um, and that just is because, unlike uh, CycleGAN, which is tra training the translation between two images, this is trying to translate from like just a pure data set and it's trying to learn everything about that data set. Um, so this makes it a little bit trickier. Um, so you need a lot more data for it. Um, this is, these are the, so when I talked about StyleGAN initially and I said it was trained on 65,000 images, um, this is eight of those 65,000. So you can actually download, um, it's what they call the FFHQ data set. Um, and that's photos they pulled from Flickr. Um, and they've done a bunch of cropping and other things to it um, to make all of these images uh, somewhat cohesive. So you'll notice that like the eyes are in just about all the same places and they're about the same scale of face, uh, shape and direction. Um, some of them are turned in different directions. So they get a little bit of variation, but in general, they, they spend a lot of time to like properly orient and crop all these images. Um, I forget who, who try, I, someone tried StyleGAN um, earlier this week inside of Runway and had a question about this. So they had a question about, in Runway, the interface is basically like a grid of images, and then you pick one of those images and that outputs a thing. That outputs a single image. Um, and someone was asking me like, you know, it calls that a vector. What do they mean by a vector? Um, and if you're used to graphic design, you probably think of vector as vector graphics and uh, as Illustrator or you know, a tool in, fi in Figma or Sketch. Um, in math, what a vector is, is a vector is a point in space, and it usually indicates a direction, but let's just call it a point in space. So uh, in the case of vector graphics, what it is is an x, y coordinate. So like when you're drawing, which is the pen tool, you tap around, and all you're doing is you're saying, draw a line from this pen point to this pen point, and this pen point to this pen point. So the vectors are actually those points in space. And then you're sort of saying like, connect them in this order or add Bezier curves, which are also points in space, um, that sort of thing. But in general, when we talk about vectors inside of machine learning, we're talking about a dimension or like a position. So in the case of two dimensions, it's X, Y. In the case of three dimensions, it's X, Y, and Z. And in the case of 512 dimension, dimensional vectors, we like, we just say like, think of a 3D shape, and then like, think of it in 512 dimensions. Um, there's really no way for a human to visualize 512 dimensions other than to say that it's like a big array. So like, think of an array with 512 uh, different points inside of that array, and that's kind of what this is. Um, oh, and before I go too far, so Leah and I were also talking about this. Um, <clears throat> I, so Leah was saying like, well, your output here is an image, but what you showed here before is a video, right? Um, how do you make a video from uh, a single output image in, in StyleGAN? So I'm gonna jump over here to a fancy whiteboard um, so I can draw some things. Um, so, okay, so the way to think about this is, imagine that, okay, so we have two dimensional space. Two dimensional space looks like this, and there is a point here and that has a certain value of X and Y. Um, there's a point here, there's a point here, there's a bunch of points, right? So in three-dimensional space, you extrapolate that by adding a Z vector. That's a cube. And you've got points in that space, right? And it's a little bit hard for us, harder for us to visualize this, but imagine that these are in three dimensions. So what Sailgan does is imagine at this point, there is an image. Now it's taking that 512 dimensions and for lack of a better idea, each of those dimensions is a certain feature of an image, right? So with a face, it could be something like smiling. It could be something like color of skin. 
It could be background color. It could be any number of things, right? And let's also say at this image, or at this point, there is a different image. So if I draw a line between these two spaces, and I say, give me the point at each one of these images, like, you know, infinitesimally small, but give me, a, give me the image at each one of these points. What you end up gener generating is an interpolation from here to here, right? So how you make an animation is you basically say like, follow along this line and at every one of these points, give me a new image. And that's basically frames of a, of a video. And then what you do is you say, okay, take all these frames and then put them into a video. Um, so that's why when we say that, uh, hold on one second. So when we say that there's only a single output, that's because of, we're, only, we're only feeding it a 512 dimensional vector. But if we slowly alter that, that dimensional vector, we'll get different images at each of those points. So that's all this is, is it's saying like, go from point A to point B as it moves across this space. Um, and that can be kind of hard for us to wrap our minds around because our minds don't think in 512 dimensions, they think in at most three, maybe four if we add in like time or whatever. Um, but that's essentially all that's going on. Um, and then you can do some really fancy things with this space. Like let's say I wanna make a looping video. So if I wanna make a looping video, the way to do that would be to start here go here, go here, go here, and then come back to this spot. So now at this point, I have the exact same image and now it loops. Um, and that's how you see, like some people will be, be, be able to do looping GIFs in StyleGAN, and that's essentially how that works. Um, so there's some, we'll talk about this more next week, but there's, I've got, like there's some code to actually write these animations um, that make it a little bit easier for us.